Now then, Oracle Database 12C focuses on multi-tenancy, doesn't it? So you probably are wondering, how does Resource Manager affect a multi-tenant environment with container databases? Here's the deal. It's actually pretty straightforward. At the CDB or container database level, you can create a top-level plan for the CDB that consists of directives that map what are called shares, or relative percentages, or relative to particular PDBs or pluggable databases. So you notice in this example, we have PDB sales PDB and the services PDB both running at equal resource priority with a share value of three. The human resources PDB is running with a lower share number. So that lower share number automatically puts that PDB at a lower level of resource access and priority. So what I want you to remember here is that with resource manager and multi-tenancy, you can set your resource plan at the container level that does resource allocations on the PDB level in terms of their relationship with each other and the server. And then your PDB administrators inside each of those pluggables can create a top-level resource manager plan just for the PDB. So if you're a DBA for the HR PDB, you can create a plan that maps CPU and timeouts and concurrent sessions and parallelism, but understand that all of that is going to be under the share percentage that's coming down from the CDB.